Thank you so much for staying tuned. If you just joined us, this is TMI Sunday's edition with Wilson on Marshall. You heard the first set of guests talking about the 4,000 troops. Uh, question. Well, we want to take a look at that number of goodbye elections. Some are still talking about its mixed reactions. Some call it tangled web. So I'm saying it's worse than that situation. But on this platform, we want to take a look at the electoral reform bill. Yes, and of course, uh, matters arising. With me here in the studio, I have uh, an Islamic scholar and, of course, a legal practitioner. Join me to welcome uh, Barrister Amin Alao. Welcome to TMI. Thank you very much. Appreciate your coming. Good morning, viewers. And, of course, I, I have uh, Barrister Douglas Ogbankwa, human rights activist, political analyst, uh, a legal practitioner. He's been Ian, so to speak. <laughs> Barrister, welcome to TMI. So this is the pleasure I'm here. Good morning, viewers. Yes. All right. And, uh, uh, he is a vibrant youth and entrepreneur, a politician. Uh, a journey to welcome Stanley Osaze Osako Nukodi. <laughs> welcome to TMI Sunday's edition. Uh, I'd be also like to see your face. Uh, come on. Uh, uh -huh. thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Please take it out. <laughs> okay. Before we go into the electoral reform bill, I really want uh, uh, this panel, uh, this sort of speak, to double into uh, the 34,000 troops that been you mark to go into a number of states to, uh, you know, make sure that people come out to vote on hindered. Uh, what do you feel about that? Barrister, allow. Thank you very much. Mm. Uh, if we have to face reality, we'll discover that Anambra State is one of the volatile states. Mm. And before this election, steps were taken by those who are agitating, the agitators, demonstrating the fact that they do not want to be part of Nigeria again. Mm -hmm. And in furtherance of that, taking steps ahead in advance to give the message clearly that we do not want election in another state by going to set ablaze INEC offices. INEC is to conduct the election. When your office is set ablaze, crippled, how do you conduct election? Apart from that, we are also aware of series of attack on police stations. Policemen are to protect lives and properties. We discover that a lot of attack have been launched on them. You see innocent policemen and women losing their lives. We now have more orphans in our society who are children of late policemen. We have more widows in our society who are wives of late policemen. These are all steps being taken. So the question is, if you are aggrieved, the federal government has taken some steps, you feel you are not happy with the government. Why should you go and be taking innocent souls? You see, if you want to even declare war, there are rules of war. In war, you say, come, let us fight. We are ready to fight. Then let's start the fight and see who will win. Not going to launch surprise attacks on people who are innocent. I always like to make reference to Islamic law. Under the Sharia, when there is war, you are not allowed to kill the women, the children, religious leaders. You are not allowed to burn down churches or mosques or synagogues. You are not allowed to cut the economic trees or destroy whatever is valuable. It is only those soldier men that are confronting you that you have right to also attack. But now, when you now go secretly at night or even daytime to launch attack on police stations, if you say somebody is taking wrong steps against you, you are taking worse steps. And that will not be justified. Now, we have already witnessed a lot of all this. Sometimes, you will see, stay at home, be declared. And people are afraid of going to make their ends meet. Resources are being lost. Economists will tell you how much have been lost to that. The election is not to take place in that particular state. Prevention is better than cure. You do not wait until the election now starts. You feel the state is like any other state, especially when there is outcry or protest that, oh, 
we wouldn't want election to take place here. So in support of 34,000 troops. Another point is, hmm. why is 34,000 troops? Are they not policemen? Okay. Policemen are to protect lives and, and properties. properties. All right. So that the electorates we have the confidence to go out and vote. Yes. All right, all right. Thank you so, so much. By Mr. Douglas of Bankwa, 34,000 troop questions before going to the mid-discussion of the day. Um, they are not troops, really. They are policemen. Hmm. And the um, functions of the Nigerian police is to ensure that there is maintenance of law and order hmm. and to ensure that there is a maintenance to public safety and the protection of public utilities. Um, as you are aware, Anambra State is a flashpoint of the, um, let me use the word, insurgency in the East. Um, um, you would, um, you would um, realize that um, 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 Dora Kuyole's husband was killed by some persons who they call unknown gunmen. Mm. And we've had killings of policemen, um, just has been um, yeah, as you talked about, yes. yes it's the running running of the um, INEC um, um, offices, he said offices. Also. And you know, I like to analyze issues based on the reality on the ground. Mm. It would be very foolhardy of us to feel that we're going for an election and we do not have adequate security mm. and we feel that people will come out to vote. You know, from my perspective of having observed elections and participated as a voter, mm. monitored security um, in, the, in an election, and then also someone who I've also had the opportunity of seeing what happens in court. Yeah. I want to say that um, security is perhaps the most critical element of the electoral process, apart from the preparation itself. itself. Okay. Um, so it, 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 let us not sensationalize it okay. that uh, they are not troops. When you use the word troops, they are giving the impression that they are bringing you soldiers. These are policemen, just that they are coming from other parts of, of the country right. to come and support the local policemen to maintain right. law, law and order. And order. Yes. Okay. Uh, Stan? I think we all understand the language very clearly. Mm. Troops, and it's applicable to military. Mm. 34,000 troops. Mm. And we always, we are all aware of the fact that in any elections, military are always part and parcel of elections. Even here in Edo State, mm. there was military. So when, we, when the federal government say 34,000 troops, I know they have so many persons comprising the federal government. So using that language alone, before that language gets to the public, there was a proper analysis of the kind of language to be used. So if the federal government says troop, let's conclude that it is 34,000 troops. Hmm. And troop is applicable to the military. Now, we want the security situation in that area to be stabilized. We actually want a peaceful elections in that area. We want a peaceful transition of power in that area. Hmm. But the truth of the matter is very simple. Let's calculate the number of troops we have in volatile area in the northeast. Let's if let's look at the level of violence that is taking place in these areas. Compare the number of troops you have in that area and the number of troops you are having today in the southeast. Now the truth of the matter is simple. The only reason why this problem are coming into play is because of the fact that there have been long term injustice. Like my fellow co panelist just said, he said prevention is better than cure. Hmm. It is the truth. What they are doing now is cure, not prevention. Because if you want to prevent, those problems that led to the unknown government emergence and the rest should have been addressed from the initial stage. Mm. E.g., now we have, we have we, 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 immediately after the war, Nigeria declared no veto, no vanquish. Which simply means that the, the, every citizen of the country must operate on the base of absolute egalitarianism. But in a situation where some selected persons are roving power from one location to another, you are telling the others that you are not part and parcel of us. We are holding you hostage. You are an hostage in this territory. So in this case, you must see pocket of resistance from selected people who understand the fact that they are being subjugated as a citizen in a would-be country. So to me, if we are talking about Kyo, Kyo preve prevention would have been addressing these anomalies, this problem that have been identified, so that you will not need 34,000 troops to ensure security in an election. All right. Thank you so, so much, gentlemen. Uh, 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 Barrister uh, Abin Alao uh, gave uh, the reason why the support of those troops gave, uh, you know, uh, of the summary of their engagement in war. 
Okay, and it gave an example also of things that have been happening in the east of Banco are also supported that say we need security so people can come out to exercise their franchise. You talked about preventive measures other than curative measures. Let's see how all this will pan out because next month a number election will take place. That means IPOP protests. That means the troops coming in. And don't forget, so we have military presence because the IGP, according to the papers, they use the word troops. It could be police, it could be military, it could be anything. That, that's actually and, uh, what I wanted to say. You see, yes. that statement is good for us to put issues in perspective because we are communicating to the public. Yes. That statement was ascribed to the Inspector General of Police, police yeah. as a matter of fact. Okay. And he said that we are going to mobilize 34,000 policemen. Mm. Okay. I do not know where the troops came from. Does the Inspector General of Police control troops? You just be very, very frank. You okay, understand? Hold on, so hold the hold point on, I'm trying on. to make is that hold on. we are communicating to the public. All right. Let us make issues in perspective. Okay, thank what you. What I understand friend. is they are going to deploy, this federal police is going to deploy 34,000 policemen. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, I wouldn't want to go into grammar right now because if you talk about troops, whether it's military, police, navy, they have their own troops. Let's leave it at that. Let's rest at that, okay? <laughs> Police troop, yeah. military troop, they are all troops, whatever. Now, you support of faith, not supposed to support of faith, but let's see how that will pan out. Now, straight to a discussion for this segment, talking about uh, the, uh, you know, electoral transfer of votes, yeah, talking about the electoral reform bill matters arising. It was all claps, all chairs, all saying yes to it when the Senate up to say this is what we want to do from each unit transmit the results to the center very few senators and of course uh, we're saying that this is not cool because of network issues in our area that is their own excuse they don't they're not down uh, uh, for that because <laughs> why are you laughing it's a connectivity is an issue also but let me start off from uh about i mean what do you feel about this is this kudos to nigerians for at least achieving this feat Thank you very much. Mm. At least Nigeria is our country mm. and it's our own dear country. And we need to, as a patriotic Nigerians, value our nation, Nigeria. Now, the electronic transmission of election results mm. ordinarily is the right step in the right direction. Mm. The purpose is clear, among other things. Mm. To cannot totally prevent rigging of election, but at least to be able to curb down the rigging of election. Election rigging is issue of mindset. I'm going to rig this election. I'm going to rig this election. Whether result is transmitted electrically or not, if I decide I will not rig, if all party goes I will be appointed. I'll be appointed. I'll be elected. I'll be elected. I will not rig. But where we now have. And it's a transfer of result. I can tell you right now, people who have made up their mind to still rig the election, they will by now be thinking of ways to go about this same rigging. And when you talk of the rigging of elections, it is not a game of the uh, aspirants. It is a game of the electorates and the aspirants. Mm. Without the support of the electorates, the aspirants cannot rig the election. When you say, I read the election, I will say, okay, you are the one that helped me in smashing the ballot boxes. I paid you for it. Legal of election starts from paying homages to people that matters in the society. I would not mention names now. When you go there and you go with bags of money and they collect, the election again has already started. You go here, you do not give, they say it's never ready. You know, bring something, come. Hmm. You, know, you never ready. You know, drop something. So, this is not, we look at it as the leader's problem. They are always digging the election. Who is the election for them? We are the ones that read the election for them. Now that it's going to be transmission by ele electronic, we are still the ones that will try to help them to manipulate. Hmm. But if there is a mindset, we want to stop breaking. Okay, I'm on the line. To vote, and someone is checking to me ten thousand naira, and I'm thinking I never talked since yesterday. Oh. <laughs> ah, what, ah, this one is attractive. Oh. I better say, I beg, come out. I don't want. Then you can say, come, 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 bring that. 
What are you talking about? You know, we see both buying. Buying. Hmm. We shouldn't be looking at this as the problem of the leaders alone. It is leadership and followership. And followership. Okay. Now, Senate has made a U-turn. You say, okay, we we'll allow the election to be transmitted electronically. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of course, the issue of failure of gadgets, network problem, we'll come to sabotage that. may also cannot be overcome. We'll come to that. You just don't will come to okay. that. Now, from what he said, he said it, 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 it may tackle uh, a region in some aspect, but they blame the followers and the leadership for engaging in the form of Reagan or another. Barrister Douglas, what do you feel about this reform in the bill? It's actually a welcome development. Mm -hmm. um, all over the world, technology that drives you know, process. Um, if you look at the American election, within a matter of minutes, you would know who has won the Electoral College to be uh, declared the um, or to be voted in, you know, as uh, the president of the elect of the United States. You know, the reason I did not use the word declared, because in America they don't declare people winners, you win. But in Nigeria they say you are declared winner. And when I did the analysis, I said, this woman know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. They say you have been declared the winner of the election. In America, they say you are, you are the winner. But in Nigeria, they say you have been declared. So you, you, you look at the two um, you know, uh, uh, semantics. Yeah. They know what they are saying. They both know what they are saying. So having said that, the electronic process of transmitting results mm -hmm. during an election is actually a way of minimizing rigging. We all know that from when you move you, the results from the polling center yeah. to the World Coalition Center that some water could pass under the, the bridge. bridge. When you move it from the World Coalition Center to the local government coalition center, things could also happen. Mm -hmm. From there, if it's a state election or a senatorial election, the case may be, or if it's a house of rep that has more than two local governments, two or more local governments, you know, things could also happen. But what the Ondo and Edo elections have shown us you know, is that despite the fact that there may be one or two discrepancies here and there, is that it is capable of reducing the tension that comes with an election. Because online real time, you are able to predict the outcome of an election. That is why you see in America, they will tell you that this is their projection. Their projections are based on the results they've got from the polling units. And it, it, it also behoves that just as INEC is transmitting electronically, the party should also set up templates to be transmitting the same, the same the same at the same time. Mm -hmm. So that there will be because this as you sign, the agents sign their results, mm -hmm. you should also transmit to your the same uh, situation. Yes. Mm -hmm. The same sheet set. Mm -hmm. Letting you know that this is the sheet everybody is transmitting. That is why I think the the the, the, uh, the Senate should have said allow them to transmit the same sheets because i know as a fact mm. that if you have a duplicate sheet yeah. they might come and tell you that there's an alteration or there is something going on but if you have a single sheet being transmitted by all the police but the police will also transmit they are still because that's security agent so that will have a way because the police that is having you know the police let's take this out of this let's take this out of this no i'm just trying to say that the security themselves have results results okay no, you know they have results yes. so let us all be able to have a way of find just like my letter friend has said as we are thinking of transmitting results electronically mm. people are also thinking of reading electronically we'll come to that yes. we'll come to that stand you've heard both of them the electronic transmission of results i think it should be a welcome development seriously uh, mm. it's really a welcome development because it was like a nippon test where we saw a well-organized system and uh, even the political party in itself uh, will have, be having their own situation room monitoring the result. But what I cannot attest to was that if it was a single document, and which my brother here has been able to come up with a very good idea on how to consolidate on the existing electoral developments in the two states. And I think the electoral umpire, who is saddled with the responsibility to conduct an election, has agreed to the fact that they have the competencies and ability to deliver. And I strongly believe that there's nowhere right now in this country where you cannot transfer money. 
it, even if it is not in totality, but there are some there, if 70 to 80 percent of the entire nation you can transfer money anywhere. It's either you are transferring through Airtel or you are transferring to Glue, or one of this network must be available for you to do that financial transaction. And if a, a, an institution like the bank that controls majorly the, the, the major fabric of the economy is given such opportunity to prevail on the internet and to act. It therefore means that INEC as well can be able to explore from that particular dimension to be able to address the, the, the problem of uh, election regain in the country. What simply means that electronic transmission of results is a welcome development that all our sundry must support. So I begin to wonder why the Senate as well turned against it in the past. Because the truth of the matter is very simple. The election that we're going to conduct the 2024, because to me, I believe that the Nigerian electoral process continues to grow. The election we're going to con uh, con conduct in 2024 is not going to be an election based on favoritism from the region where you are from. This time it is IMAC and not EMAC. They say this person do this thing that time. No, it is what Nigerians saw, what Nigerians see, what Nigerians can see in the future because we are going to project not just from what we saw yesterday, from what we are seeing today, and what we anticipate to see in the future. So, with this, I will not want to discuss it by any political party because our discussion here centers on the overall interest of people. But in this case, Nigerians know what we all are passing through. And just recently, I don't know if that information is correct, so let me not just disseminate it. Mm. We knew, notice, let me not be specific, specific in respect to the amount of resources. But the amount of excess crude funds left by the Jonathan administration today have been depleted in no small way. And All if right. you look at the number of amount of resources spent by a political party, let me not mention it, for about 16 years, compared to the party that is on ground now, the amount of money they have spent, the one they have spent now is even higher than the one they spent 16 years. All right. we speak, we're not talking about that right now. It's really a big problem. Yes, yes. So let me go away from there. All right. Now, the truth of the matter is simple. Those who are manipulating all this, trying to, to, to prevent the electronic transmission of results, has an ego egocentric interest that is purely different from the overall interest and collective destiny of the Nigerian people. people. Oh, for right. some of us, hmm. if you are a senator or you are a member of House Representative, have it in the back of your mind that you, you, did not, you, you did not find yourself in that particular area because you are the best. The people decide to, 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 to rest their hope on you by sending you to represent them. Represent. How on earth will 90% of your constituency be fighting for an election? transmission of results, you go there to say because one leader and one person is telling you no, we have to change it, let it be like this, and you say you want to work against the okay. interests of the people. All so right. for us, it's an aspiration that we expect this set of people to begin to work for the overall interest of the Nigerian people and our collective. Thank system. you, thank you so much, Stan. So much saying, whether you electronically like transmit the results or not, the outcome will not change. Barrister. Thank you very much. Mm. You see, in Nigeria in particular, and Africa generally, mm. but particularly Nigeria, at the end of the elections, you know, we have international observers also coming to observe the election. And the first thing you start hearing, the election was free, fair, and credible. credible. Sometimes they add transparency. And the election was free, fair, and credible. And then you discover that some who are aggrieved will go to the law court. And you see the court of law sometimes obtaining the result. The election that was free, fair, and credible. In court, other things are discovered. Meaning that this was not actually free. Election cannot be free, fair, and credible. Election is like a football match. It wants to win at all costs because there is no fear of God. But if we have the belief that it is almighty God that determines what you get on earth. It determines if you go to that position or not. You may win the election and before the results announced, you may even die. That's happened in this country before. Yes. If you believe sincerely that if God says that seat is mine, I must surely occupy it. A particular time in Lagos State, that was Arumi, uh, Agbala Jobi, and then Ote Dola. Ote Dola was the unpopular candidate. That was a rumor of the unpopular candidate. And of course, two of them, they scored the item of votes. But eventually, what happened? It was Ote Dola that ruled Lagos. The one that said, You will not win the election, but you be the one to rule. One went to court to tell you know, the other one. And that was what our vote of them for themselves out, and he ruled. So, as an aspirant, have it at the back of your mind. If Almighty God says you will rule, you will definitely rule. 
And if God Almighty says you will not throw, there is no how you will get to that seat. Having that in the back of your mind, then, of course, try as much as possible to play according to the rules. Let us make Nigeria a better country so that actually we'll be having election results free, fair, and credible. Incredible. All right. Over to you, Obankwa. Um, Responding from what my little friend just said, you know, you, 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 you are talking from the perspective of someone that maybe you're a clergy now. Mm -hmm. you know, but this politician, look at it from that perspective. A, politi a politician has said in this country, Jonah Jag, he said that reading is not of God, but if you read and you succeed, that means God supports you. He said it. <laughs> Do you understand? And people were clapping. Like, Hold on, clapping. Like, Please come away. That's come away. He said reading, reading is not of God. God. But if you really are so that means God supports you. You understand? So you, you are looking at it from, from a fatalistic point of view. But these people, politics to some of these people is like a do or die affair. Alexander Pope said that politics is the is, is, is a, is a madness of many for the benefit of few. And talking about the, the, the outcome of an election, Vladimir Lenin said that those who determine who win the votes are not those who cast the votes. But those who count the votes, and I dare say that those who count the votes are controlled by those in charge of our security votes. So at the end of the day, there are many dynamics. Nigerian politics is money driven. Mm -hmm. And if you want to stop reading, you track the money. If mm -hmm. the Nigerian government or the security agencies want to stop reading, what you do is that you follow the trail. If they are making withdrawals, they are doing transfers, follow where the money is going to. The security agencies, when you see young men are gathering and cars are moving, come on, you won't just tell me that they are just moving and nothing is in their boots. You should be able to say, okay, you can stop. Where are you going to? What is in your boot? And how can in the 21st century, as volatile as Nigerian elections are, in the polling unit, you do not even have one security agency that has a gun. Okay. You, can't, you can't possibly have an election where you have adequate security without people in the guns. They say that it's because they are scared of people being shot. I disagree because I have monitored elections okay. in this state. Okay. And I tell you that sometimes when we enter into crisis situations, even when I monitor with the Nigerian Bar Association, as long as we were the ones that were able to stand up to the occasion and call the security agency to savage the police, the security agency, they all run for their dear lives. All right, now come back to We must be able to do things right. Right. If you want there to be an election that is free, fair, yeah, cool. and credible, as my friend has said, mm. you must put in a security architecture and corridor in place where you know that people have access, the security may have access to guns. Over to you, Stan. Yes. When we talk about free, fair, and credible election, mm. does not mean perfection. Mm. If you are writing, a, writing an exam in school, they give you 100%. Mm. Then you score 70, so you score 8. Well, what about the 30%? So the word fair, the word fair is not perfection. There must be some hiccups. Mm. But the truth of the matter is, when you not compare the... the, 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 the fair. Lithium, yes. When you not mm. compare the lithium, the pockets mm. of problem identified in the election, compared to the level of success recorded, and it's up to about 70%, you can conclude that, the, that that election was fair. Now, free, fair, and credible does not mean electoral perfection, because there are no perfection in humanity. There is not a human being we do that will be perfect, no way. So, but the truth is, let that election be acceptable by all and sundry. That is why we now have the issue of greed from the part of our politicians. The one who win will come out to announce, oh, we congratulate INEC for conducting a peaceful, fair election. The one who lost, I am going to court. This country is no longer the way it used to be. We want a better <laughs> nation because you lost. No. But when you win, the statement, the narrative is purely very, very different. Mm. Now again, when you want to check Ricky, to me, there is no way in the world where money is not associated with elections. Even people donate money in the United States to support a candidate. Mm. So money is always involved. But as we speak, the determination of the people matters a lot. Like here in Edo State, we could recall the election took place in Edo State. There was a polling booth in Edo State. The sum of 50,000 50, was shared by votes. They still lost it at that polling unit. Mm. That is the determination of the people. Because the people want to say, no, we will not accept it. If you look at the election that took place in Edo State, I have always been telling people, it was it was 70% diaspora influence. 
70 percent diasporan influence. Mm. When you go, for, you go to your house to campaign, if the president of that house must have told you, if this man no, will not come here again. Mm. So, the, the monetary activity has no role at that particular time. Even when they share it, you will notice that if you follow through, through the election, you have the fact that some persons will be posted with money. They will have the value security agency. And now, ordinarily, you do not need weapons in the election ground. Right. But if you follow the election ground, you will notice that if you have a police unit, a police station, okay, you just hold your security agency. 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 You just is one of the veritable tools to address the issue of the country. Now, when you talk about determination, if every citizen are in the fact that there exists a big problem that can be solved, if we allow a well-qualified aficionado in a specific profession or whatever quality such person has to manage the affairs of this country, and everybody knows that the light must come from that place. Every citizen, no matter the amount of resources made available by some selected political junket, citizens will vehemently resist by ensuring that who they wanted emerge as the, 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 the president or whatever mm. positions that they are soliciting for. Right. Now, on the part of vigilance, one thing is for you to be determined. The other thing is for you to be vigilant for the manipulators not to take through all that means in achieving their ugly aim against the collective interest of the people. Now, a, a, a political party must put mechanisms in place. Why the citizens as well must put mechanisms in place? On the part of the citizenry, believe you me, the citizens are already trying. That is why you see people immediately after election, they refuse to go home. And they are not a party to any of the political parties. But they refuse to go home. They want to know what happened next immediately after the election, so that if any man wants to call him, you see them existing there. So if you want a better society, believe you me, nowhere in the world where resources have no role to play. Okay. But the resources must not be channeled into the evil part of subjugating the overall will of and the interest people. of the people. All right, uh, uh, Barista, I mean, you know, when Nigeria, like, you know, when, when Nigeria, begging your pardon, was going in election, we're talking about the process, it was uh, Mano, the right. All of a sudden, you were like, we have to compute this. And then they brought in card readers, and right now, we're talking about electronic transmission of results. The card readers gave issue. So the excellent, they have to fall back again to the Mano uh, uh, format of imputing names and data. One senator raised an issue. We may not have network in our area. He said it. Many people laughed, but we take a look at it. Don't think he's making a point. Of course, he's making a point. <laughs> but people have also uh, criticized him, hmm. saying that to transmit the result electrically, all that needs to be done is text message. But hope it will not get to the extent that Nigerians will try and be attacking the telecom masks. Hmm. In order to create artificial lack of network. Network. That's another point. And that explains why I said earlier on that it's a matter of mindset. We have enough laws in the country that if we obey the laws, we have a peaceful society. We have enough laws. Our problem is not we don't have law for this or for that. The transmission electronically is a very, very welcome development. And as I've said, there was a particular cartoon. The prison inmates were raising a magazine how to escape from prison <laughs> inside the cell. Then they showed the prison water outside the cell. They were raising a magazine added how to prevent a prisoner from escaping. From escaping. Hmm. So as we are introducing or going ahead with transmitting the election results electrically, we need to also the planning on how to block, block all the loopholes that people can exploit to try to frustrate the transmission electrically. Because if I contested the election and due to network failure, if I call it arises, or any other reason you are telling me there was a problem, I will go to court. I will go to court. So in as much as it's a welcome development, we still must make sure that all we need to do has to be done. You see, our, our, those who 
Oh, and the House of Reps say the same thing. I fail to call them leaders. They are our representatives. Leaders generally are our servants. Go there and represent us. But they are not representing us adequately enough. There are a lot of things that they ought to do, they have failed to do. Among the things we expect them to do up to now is go there and slash down your salaries and allowances. But they have not been able to do that. Hmm. Now, thank God that they have been able to agree that, okay, we allow this transmission of results electronically. Nigerians generally should ensure that all hands are on deck in order to transform this country. Hmm. Let every other person be policing the other one. Let us ensure that we prevent those who are trying to sabotage the effort of INEC. We should be ready to sacrifice our lives in order to make the country great. But by the time you are afraid, oh, if I talk now, I will be hung down. Nobody can take your life. Almighty God has decreed the time and date of your death. And whatever will happen to you, you be bold enough to speak truth to power. All right. All right. Uh, about yourself, Bankwa, you heard him. <clears throat> he said we're bold enough to speak truth to power. Uh, the other aspects of network not being available, he raised the other point that some may just come out in purpose and destroy telecom installations. You see it happening. Those are conspiracy theories. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I, I dwell on facts and not conjectures. You see, as a matter of fact, the same well, thing I... Well, raised the issue. We don't have... We we don't have, have that's why I, I want to address this issue. He said, yeah. I don't have network. How did he reach you when he's in his area? Does he not make calls? Does he not check his WhatsApp messages and status? Check his Facebook? Communicate with his um, office and um, his um, staff in Abuja? You see, there's a pretty English saying that said, that says right that I say, they say, when no person don't get money to take by the night, they say, be the bitter. <laughs> As a matter of fact, they are looking for excuses mm. to stop electronic transmission of results. You know, see, as a matter of, I need to say this, that these people know that once we have this inroad, you are going to have a lot of, uh, um, you know, the election and, 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 you know, manipulation be cut down mm -hmm. to a reasonable extent. I would not even subscribe to the use of text messages, because that would be amenable to manipulation. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? What you saw on those and Edo states, to a reasonable extent, is that you snap the form, is it what they call the form form? Uh, uh, ECFA, 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 that's the result sheet. sheet yeah. You snap it and you send it. Everybody will see, everybody will sign. But now you say you're using test message. So you just say, uh, what is the result? What you are saying is not what he's typing. Mm. He will send something else. So that is also okay. electronic yeah. reading. Yeah. <laughs> so, but when you have a scenario like you snap it, you send it, my dear. There is no way you will say, even if it does not go immediately. When you leave there, that there's no network. When you move, network will come. So, you understand? So <laughs> let's forget that thing that there's no network. It's not that they, they can't can be clever by half. They're trying mm -hmm. to look for an opportunity to circumvent the wish of the people. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you this once the people vote and their vote counts, the people are happy when this person is being sworn in. You know, but just that when things start going as the tenure is going on, they may not be saying, I don't know, <laughs> as it is in some states in Nigeria now. You know, so, <laughs> ordinarily, when they vote, their votes count. Mm. They are happy. You know, you see the joy in them to say, oh, my votes actually yeah. count. Mm. Now, I want to address what my very good brother here he has made brilliant submissions. Mm. You know, two things I want to address. When, when I say that you track the money, I'm not saying you don't use money for elections. Mm -hmm. I'm only saying that you track the use of the money to manipulate elections. Election. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, for example, at the polling units, those people sharing those monies. I, I, I was part of a team that went to it. I we told them, we're going to arrest you. The guy ran away with the money. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? We're not even security agencies. Mm -hmm. We just saw us and said, let us call the the round. So okay. let us all those things of vote buying. And I'm telling uh, citizens listening and watching me right now. Anytime that you collect money for a vote, you have bought your nest, they bought your you have sold 
your next four years. You have no right to complain. complain. Oh, once you collect that money to go and cook pot of soup, mm -hmm. know that that pot of soup you are eating, you are, you are eating your next four years in government. So you can't come and say, ah, you don't do this because you have eaten his money. Mm -hmm. You have no right to complain. Oh, that right. is true. Then again, the issue of security agencies mm -hmm. at the polling unit. Now, when I say having security agencies at the polling unit, that's they will have guns close to the voters. But you have like what looks like a, a mini garrison where they will stand there just in case of any emergency. Okay. I'm saying this in, in view of the fact that sometimes people actually bring guns to the election ground. Yeah, the election ground. So how can people that have no guns fight those that have guns? So we can actually get it right. All right, thank if you. We do the right thing. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Briefly. Briefly, what we, we are uh, hold on, hold on, step. Briefly, we're going to double into another aspect of the reform talking about direct primaries. Stan, take it up from there. We're okay. going to end with that. Yeah, what we talk about direct primaries in mm. elections to mm. me, it gives Apple opportunity for all party faithful to be part and parcel of the process. Now, if an individual is given the opportunity to elect on our behalf. We got it because we are selecting delegates. And if you are a politician, you agree to the fact that a true selection of delegates will not come out from the people. They, they consider the leaders to determine who becomes a delegate in each of these political worlds. Mm -hmm. Word one, you need to call Mr. Susu and Su and Mr. Susu and Su. The leaders will have to sit. They will now come to you to say, we have appointed some certain selected person to be the delegate representing our world. Mm -hmm. But the question now is, what about all that party faithful that in the party? To me, I am in total support of the direct primaries oh, in every political party. But oh, let me round up in respect to hmm. the network issue that you just read. I would like hmm. to discuss about that. Hmm. Now, if you check the senator who made the statement, there might be no network in my area. Ask him, is it a shame on his part? In the, in the actually first century, you know the problem of the people. Go and check the number of bees that have been passed by the city. Too. If the fight to extend network in this area is part of the bee. Mm. But you are coming out today now to say there might be no network in my area. So it's a failure on his part for there not to be network in this area. We need to go and check his accident. We need to go and check his activity. If he has ever stood up with the National Assembly to say how to waste extend network to my area because my people are living in electronic darkness mm -hmm. but yet you are coming up publicly to say because you think you want to bring in an excuse that is not an excuse he has this he has been he has been able to to, to prove himself to the entire world that he's a gross failure and gross misconduct as a senator and so many people may defy defy because the is like a point is raising all right barrister Obankwa, yeah, direct primaries. Oh, I think direct primary is actually the way to go mm. because according to Abraham Lincoln, um, democracy is the government of the people by the people and for the people. So the people themselves should be able to elect who their representatives are or their um, what they call their candidates are now. Mm. And, but you have to look at the process because we have seen in, even in all the major political parties that the county process of direct primaries is very mysterious. In fact, even akin to witchcraft. You hear that count like 1, 2, 13, 45, 47, 99. You know, you don't know what they are counting. But people can protest when they get to the end. But, but, but everybody is there, they are watching. So we, we have to, I also believe that the powers itself should be open to electronic monitoring. So yeah, like, much of oh yeah, oh, let them put it on camera. Of, yes, of them. Yes, they should put it on camera. Let us see what they are counting. Oh, okay. Because those guys, their mathematics is different from our mathematics. <laughs> thank we you. don't know what they are counting. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. The fact can only happen when they are consensus candidates. Candidate. In a situation where you have to contend the force with their men of granny in the political party. <laughs> One five ten. <laughs> well, that's for you to well, say. You got the future. Barista, me, you're going to have the last take on this discussion, and you're going to cap it up with the electronic uh, direct primaries. Yeah, of go course, ahead. I support direct primaries. Mm. You see, when you have delegates, the possibility of camping the delegates in the hotel, collecting their phones, mm. voters' cards, uh, voters' cards, you no, know, uh, pocketing them, and mm. then telling them what you need them to do, is always there. But it should not be easy for you to be able to do that when it is direct primaries. Mm. And that explains why it is now being narrowed down to direct primaries in order for us to be sure that yes, the, there is proper representation. Mm. Do not be because if 
it may be if you go for indirect primaries, at the end of the day, you discover that if I've been direct primaries, the results will have been different. Mm -hmm. So it's better, let's just go directly. No matter how expensive it may be, no matter how time consuming, it is preferred to indirect primaries. All right. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, gentlemen. I'm not sure if we get to year one, 20, that was, that was the same, you know what? Immediately resolved with the That's actually Thank the you. best ever, yes. you know, and we should adopt it. I'm sure they for, yes. for the primaries. Stand, stand in front of your candidates. Yes. For the primaries. Uh, yes. Uh, everything. 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 Mm. Both the uh, general election. Okay. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate a wonderful analysis where you've heard them. They shared their thoughts and opinion on the 34,000 troops. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, put aside or uh, central number of states to policemen, not troops. <laughs> define that already, please. Stop interjecting. Thank you. <laughs> to make sure that election is free, fair, and credible in a number of states delving to the electoral reform bill, and they have divergent views. But they are pointing out to one thing good governance, free, fair, and credible election. Do you think it will make any difference? Gentlemen, once more, I appreciate a wonderful analysis. The opinions, theirs, it has nothing to do with ITV, but they made sure the follow rules and regulations governing the airwaves. Malafosia in the studio was saying, have a wonderful Sunday. Bye for now.